Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. What is management? You ultimately manage what? You manage people, manage things. For what? For development, right? And to be able to do that, I think the understanding of what your basic idea of appreciation must be there in place. If you're not able to appreciate what people are, appreciate what art is, appreciate what music is, so then I don't think your business, you're going to be a successful business leader. When you say management, it only doesn't mean studying. The tact of life is what you need to actually achieve in life. And when you, when you understand how life is, then I don't think studies or sport or whatever it may be is much of a big deal to handle. Uh, liberal arts has, you know, it actually nurtures a personality in such a way that I think just education cannot do that. Giving education importance is giving it priority is very, very ideal for any human being because, you know, education is the key to success in the end. What happens is if you have a very liberal and arty way of uh, approaching things, you are a good problem solver and it's been proved. When you come to a B-School, there are obviously people from different walks of life, different cultures and with different mindsets. So team ultimately is all about understanding each other, working together in order to get the perfect output aligned with your organizational goal. So in dance, we don't just show one particular performance or one particular aspect. There are several things that we portray to dance, be it any social cause, uh, be it any story that you want to depict. And dance has really taught me how to empathize with people, how to really understand what people are expressing or what people are thinking. And also, I'm able to express my thoughts and opinions clearly to them. And problem solving is a very important part of management leadership, right? That's one. And uh, other than that, I think in the way you want to develop, in whatever ways you want to develop, there are a lot of things that you need to know about the changing world, the changing technology, the intersections of the cultures. I think all these plays a very, very important role. Where if you're able to have a liberal uh, RT perspective, then your chances of becoming successful is much, much higher. We have a unique program called Business Communication, Management Communication, where our college really uh, puts efforts to develop our presentation skills, be it in terms of talking, be it in terms of uh, business writing skills or marketing negotiations. So since I'm able to express well, uh, it has really helped me in several presentations of mine. One good thing about IFM is that every week you will have at least two, three presentations. You're quick on your toes, you have to present. So this is something that has really helped me. Not just rugby, any sport for that matter. The overall development of personality, any sport benefits of individual with, you know, be it respect, be it hard work, discipline, determination and all these other attributes that it develops in a person helps you accomplish anything for that matter. B-School has been very competitive, but when you participate at such a high level, and especially rugby where you, your body and your mind work together, you know, to achieve one goal, if you have the temperament of competing against countries like Japan, China, Singapore, when you play for India, I really am um, blessed to have that experience, which is helping me out here. Artists are experimental. They try out, they're expressive, right? Uh, sports person have a quality of dealing with failures. Now that something is an extraordinary capacity in today's times. These extraordinary qualities, they play a very, very important role in management education and being uh, leaders of uh, tomorrow. After graduating, after pursuing my PGD in finance, I'm pretty sure I'll be working in the corporate for two, three years. But down the line, I am uh, really wishing to start and create a platform wherein I can, you know, uh, give exposure to all the raw talent that our India has. Uh, I've also been a YouTuber for some time and uh, I know there's lots of people who have the talent but they don't get the exposure. So in order to how to manage the finances, be it marketing and you know create a platform wherein you not just connect all the bloggers and the actresses and models but also say the caterers uh, when you go for shoots or there are people uh, who are travel bloggers so they can really find beautiful sites just in and around your city. You don't really need beautiful sets. So you just create a platform where you connect the right people and uh, help create something really beautiful. After my MBA, joining an MNC would be an ideal situation. I'd uh, probably uh, start a club of my own after two or three years of work experience at somewhere, you know, having that financial capabilities, the backup, having the financial power to, you know, take such decisions where I can actually follow my passion and have my corporate life. I'd want to have a own club of mine, which would probably compete at higher levels than I have. 
so my passion doesn't die well i think life is about managing things life is about designing things right you design your life you manage your life right if you have your basics in place no matter what you are like whatever you excel at you are much better in trying to uh, uh, develop it to make sense of it in real life trying to uh, maneuver through the changes right uh, all those things special quality that is needed that you get in management education that changes life forever no matter what you are you, you could be a musician uh, you could be an artist you could be a filmmaker so management requires understanding of what makes people tick if uh, management is what uh, gary hamel had called the technology of human accomplishment uh, then managers need to know how people think and act now what motivates them and what makes them collaborate and what brings out the best and the worst in them and that's very very important for managers so on top of having a genuine interest in people if you want to be a great manager you better develop a working knowledge of some key disciplines in humanities psychology sociology economics and arts